What's up guys, welcome to another Neo Vintage Plays. Today we're playing a favorite of mine, Crazy Taxi. I'm Jabrell and I'm here with... Steve, how you guys doing? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two arcade runs. Mm -hmm. Five minutes each should do. And we're gonna see what our score looks like. Now Steve, you've played this before, right? I have, I have it, uh, I have it on Dreamcast. I played the sequel on Dreamcast as well. Okay. And I just got it on uh, PC. Iconic. So, Iconic game. Very cheap on PC. My favorite Dreamcast title. I like that Sega still acknowledges it though. It's a great game. Yeah. And there's, a, there's, a, there's a decent port on it, which you showed me. On, on phone, yeah. On phone, so iOS and Android. With some of, some of the old songs, some of the new ones, because copyrights and stuff yeah. like that. Surprising how well it runs though. This is the song you need though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> All I want, I think it's called. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. Offspring? The offspring, yep, the offspring. Stop. Right. You, I'll, I'll be honest, you're way better than me at this game. I struggle so much. It's, it's a little tricky to get, Yeah. like, the timing of the breaks down. I, I've the noticed break, that a lot of people choice. have a lot of trouble with yeah. that. Because it's in the triggers and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. This is such a fun game, though. For this, sure. The, I like this era of games because you were able to make things that not no. that you just can't get away with now. Like, oh no! Uh, Space Channel Five. Yeah. I mean, I again most Dreamcast. I'm curious games, to see how that VR version. Yeah, I want to get it. Uh, maybe I'll get it soon. That's there's a lot of work to capture VR footage. Oh yeah. Uh, especially if you want to. That's gonna be a nightmare. Uh, so we might have to. Uh, Expand, Play around to a, with that, expand yeah. to a different room. Yeah, probably. Leave our little sanctuary here we built. Yeah. To do that. This is not gonna cut it. No. Not enough space. So, I, do we need to explain Crazy Taxi? I don't um, think we do. No, you, you pick people up, you bring them to where they need to do. Yeah. There's a weird KFC sponsorship. I don't know why. Yeah, there was different time. Some of them replaced. I know the later ones. I think the PC port yeah. that I just recently played doesn't have. What the hell just happened? Doesn't have KFC. I've also seen mods on PC is super funny. Really? Oh, I was gonna say Pizza. I didn't know if Pizza Hut was in this. So yeah, Pizza no, it is. Isn't pizza Hut, KFC. Oh, nice. They, and they can't patch it out. And go. It. No, yeah. If you play the the, the the ports, you play the HDs that came with PS3 and 360. Some of that stuff has been pulled away. It just says Pizza. Oh, uh, my favorite Pizza place. KFC. I don't even. I don't remember what it says. But I mean, this is again. This is the time you can make games with everything, and it's so unique. It just makes it porting a nightmare. The, arc the arcade machine is pretty fun. I played yeah. at my local laundromat. <laughs> the uh, local laundromat. I played it once actually because quarters are for the washing machines, not for me. To play, not for me to play Crazy Taxi while my wife uh, is not around. So I always thought when I was younger. Yeah. Not that I thought, but I wanted a crossover. Jet Set Radio and Crazy Taxi. Uh, okay, there you go. I'm getting used to this phone version. Mm. Yeah, that was always my uh, dream. Dream crossover. I can see it. This gotta go fast. Go Sonic in there. It's Sega. Hey, <laughs> this kid. Where's the Sonic, like, if they, if they can have a Sonic Kart Racer, where's the Sonic Crazy Taxi? Game? So, you know, you think... it, it, it's so 90s, it makes sense. Take me to Green Hill Zone. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Gotta go fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me started on that. I need that mod community. Facts. Those modders. Give me a Sonic That would have been perfect theme. for 2004. Take me to Imagine casino. that. Playing that game, you go downstairs, yeah. American Pie's on the television. I mean, you have that Mario Party Sonic game. Sonic yes. Shuffle. Which is nowhere near as good, but it's there. And, and Sega always holds on to their IP, so they still own this IP. I remember as a kid, just the sunniness of this made me want to move to California so bad. Yeah. No, man, not so much. Yeah. I like the rain. I like to breathe oxygen. Facts. So. Yeah, what's going on over there? Can't, I can't go down there. You know your way around these places, too, like... Look at that. My gameplay's gonna look terrible compared to No, no, no. This is... I, I botched it pretty bad. Pro... Pro Crazy Taxi player. Now, do you prefer the GameCube version? Uh... Yeah, probably. The, the, con the controller is just my favorite to play Crazy Taxi with. Mm -hmm. Um... 
The Dreamcast version, I like the heft of the controller when playing Crazy Taxi, but that joystick is kind of terrible. That is true. The phone version looks great and it's nice to have on the go, and I like how precise it is with those touch controls, but again, it's touch controls and a tactile control is always going to be better. So yeah, the, the GameCube version is, in my opinion, the idea of the way to go. Um, PS3 is not bad either. Yeah. I just hate the PS3, but... It's a hassle to uh, yeah. do anything on the PS3. Now, what's your thoughts on it? I'm sure, well, at some point we'll probably do it. The sequel, Crazy Taxi 2. Oh, yeah. Right? Right? Yeah, no, I, like, I like it. I just don't have the nostalgia for it. Mm -hmm. So it's like... On a mechanical level, it's like phenomenal. Yeah, they never that one they never court. Right? No, it's only been on the past. There is like Fair Wars and stuff like that too to play. Uh, the PSP one. Yeah, that's true. Which is essentially is just a PSP amalgamation of one and two. Okay. That's yeah, most as most PSP yeah. games were. Which is just yeah, yeah a I'm highlight much reel, done, huh? a highlight reel of the best. Yeah. Not my best one, but. I haven't played this in a minute. Mm. All right. I haven't played that in a minute. That's probably not a good license. Total earned. Yeah. It's a B. B's no good though. S, S or trash? Let's see. Well, I'm probably gonna get a solid C or D, so. Yeah, I haven't played this in a minute though. Yeah. I'm sloppy. Oh no, no memory card. I got the memory card. Oh, we got two memory cards. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I got actually three GameCube memory cards. I have like two from my childhood, and then I bought another one when I couldn't find them. As we all had to at some point. All right, all right let's see. Who do, you, who do you normally play as? I'm always BD Joe. Always. Are you? Know. Yeah, yeah so always. I usually go between Gina and Axel. Okay. So, Canon so, so we'll go we'll go Gina. You don't choose Gus? Huh? What's his name, Gus? The big dude at the end? Absolutely not. I always choose. So I used to call her... Uh, the actress that uh, plays Mary Jane in the Raimi trilogy. Kristen Dunn? Chris, yeah. <laughs> she always, I was like, uh, when they do the live action, <laughs> they're going to use... The live action Crazy Taxi movie when that comes out. They did dumb two taxi movies before. There was, uh, taxi. Like, there was the one with Queen Latifah. And, and Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. I remember that one. And then there's Taxi Driver and then, with yeah, De Niro. De Niro, that's right. A little bit of a different direction than that one. I could do better. I'm, I swear though, like, I love Sega, but and, and it's a shame that they couldn't make it in the console market, but that, when, like, the Dreamcast and Saturn all failed and they ported all their games to Dreamcast, what an era. Or, I mean, to, to GameCube. When they ported everything to GameCube and having all the Nintendo and Sega things on one console, finally, yeah. like, what an era. The, what a team up. The Evo they had to go through though, because remember, you remember the campaign Sega does with oh, Nintendo? Yeah. yeah. To then have to be like... Hey, can, Just imagine. Can you guys put your some, uh, our games on? They didn't sell. Can you uh, put on the game on your nice, successful? I just wonder, like, if at that time, what if Sega decided instead to work with like Microsoft? Does that change the trajectory of? So I'm surprised. The Xbox. Out? They didn't go purchase wise. That's. I guess Sega didn't want to sell out completely. PlayStation. Because you think they would have went to PlayStation yeah. or Microsoft. I, I, would, I would say PlayStation more so than Microsoft because they didn't have the Japanese connection. That's true. Microsoft was very... Uh, they still don't have the Japanese US, connection. Yeah, US based. So I'm surprised. I'm surprised they still aren't purchased by Somehow Nintendo. they worked out that deal, but they, what a phenomenal era though, to have all these. That's true. Just when Heroes Without Beautiful Joe. All games that, again, for me... Has the Tasmanian Tiger. A if you want to. Yeah, yeah, I, I Or B I mean. Switch to reverse. Attack and the power of GG. Attack and the power of GG. So, Vex. So I want to start collecting the attack games. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. There's three, right? Uh, There's three main ones, and then there's two they did off the show. There's Game Boy Advance ones, too, I think. Yeah, like a whole bunch of those. What am I going to do with those? Collect but I guess them. if I'm going to go for full series, the I got it. attack stand. And just have you know, it's funny because I remember liking those. I do, I do remember not liking the show. I've never seen them. The Nintendo show? Uh, Nintendo Nickelodeon show? What was it, like a CG type thing? Yeah. It was, was there really that much lore that warranted the show? So, season one was just based off the game. And then, the last game that released was based off something that happens in the show. Okay. That wasn't canon to... So, this is a game that's not canon to the other trilogy. Okay. So, I think it was three. Power of Juju. Power of Juju, 
Juju Challenge. Juju Challenge. And something of gross. Those mascot platforms are kind of wild. It's Those a different time. Nah. There's the uh Blinks the cat. No, it's the boomerang guy. Uh, Ty the Tiger. Tiger, yeah. That there's like three of those too. They're those that leaked. There's a port coming. Really? They bring that back? I believe there is. Why? I think THQ Nordic is. Uh, What's wrong with them? Why? Ty? I'm. I. They're doing something like that. I bring back I Ninja. I can't. You remember I Ninja? I want a. Co- I don't have a copy of that. I need that. With the with the kaiju fights. Yeah. You get in the mech. Yeah. Man. The sword? You upgrade your sword? I don't own that. Oh, we're gonna have to. We need some, to hunt down the We're to do some retro hunting. You know, I stay on eBay for the retro games. I, I'll keep an eye out, and I'm gonna see if I, I can hook something up. That was that was all three, right? They did Xbox. Yes, it was on all consoles. However, I went on game. Xbox, GameCube, and PlayStation. Two. I want. Well, if, yeah. if we get a copy of that, uh, gameplay comes soon for sure. Oh, we have to. Yeah. You can't talk it up and not. No, after we film this, I'm taking it. Uh, I'm just I worried to. about like I hope it's not a lot of money. I doubt it. I but every once in a while, I want to say it's probably original THQ. Yeah, the thing is sometimes they price things just out of range. Like they'll have like a GameCube game that I really want, but they want like twenty for it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to pay twenty for it. No, I got I got a nice Max, ten bucks for you. If it's in case with booklet and everything, I got, I got fifteen for you. I'll do twenty. Maybe I'll do twenty. It be, oh, it better no be crispy though. More. Crispy. I want yeah. I don't want water damage. I don't want your fake bootleg. Yeah. There's a, couple, magazine. there's a couple games I'll pay like some money for on the game people like XD Gale of Darkness. That that's gonna cost you some money, so maybe I'll, I'll play yeah, it. Yeah, it's again. a sixty year thing. Yeah, I have looked that up. Oh so much. I'm not too fond of those. But I'm also not a Pokemon guy like XD, that. I've never played it, I just want it. That's the regular Pokemon one. It's the story mode one. Right? Yeah, they launched uh, the GameCube uh, special edition GameCube with it at the time. Mm-hmm. And that's the one I had. I had the XD Gale of Darkness. GameCube? GameCube without the game. Uh, why? I think maybe we got it. it or? Maybe we got it used because we were broke. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Honestly, that probably that's probably what happened. Uh, just, that's the one you guys found. I think somewhere. so. I think so. Or maybe it didn't stop trading. Maybe they didn't have it in there. I don't know if it came with the game, but it probably came with the game because at the time they didn't really do that. Yeah, that's a modern gen thing. Yeah, get in the car, but I'm not taking it anywhere. Grandma. That's it. I don't think it was too bad. That, that might be a Class C. So I, I got you 10 customers just as you did. Yeah, I know the Class C. Yeah. I a little, yeah, that's, not, that's not bad for a first run. Not too bad. Yo, what a great game. Look at this. The golden Crazy age tech. of gaming. That's before gaming became just like... I want all my copies next to each other. Crazy Taxi. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yo, support this game. Let the devs know you want more Crazy Taxi. We want the 4K version as a launch title on Xbox Series X 4K. and the PS5. 4K. 8K upscaling. 4K native. It's just complete. Just, just complete solid up. polygon. Give it to uh, the Burnout guys. The bur- oh my god. Yo, give it give it to the Forza guys. I want if, them to if, mod this if, with crazy if, effects. If they can do a Lego crossover in Forza, they can do yes. a Crazy Taxi crossover. What's that? They did a Fast and Furious crossover. And hey, if they need to make concessions, yeah, like, we agree to it, but it's got to be in the UK. Take it. I'll take it. That's fine. Why not? Crazy Taxi. Phenomenal game. One of my personal favorites. Knew we had to do a gameplay of this ASAP. Again, you find a copy of this, pick it up. Dreamcast yeah. version I can vouch for. Uh, uh, GameCube version, phenomenal too. But, and I think there might be a PS2 version too. There might be. I think there's a PS2 version of Crazy Taxi 1. Yeah, Crazy yeah. Taxi 1. So, if you find any of those. However, if you only have current gen, uh, there's a... Dreamcast collection. This is a Dreamcast collection. You can get it on. Yep. It's also PS3. You can get it on 360. I don't know if it's backwards compatible, but it probably is. On the, the Dreamcast one. collection, I think, is backwards compatible. If you're yeah. a PC... So even if you're not a PC gamer... Yeah. Steam this, got it, yeah. This the Steam has... Uh, you can buy it separately or the Dreamcast collection for like five bucks most of the time. And that will run on most laptops. Uh, I don't think you need a... Uh, souped up PC to play yeah. <laughs> to play Crazy no. Taxi. And it's on phone. It's on iOS too. So yeah, and if you've got an Xbox controller, hook it up the controller, get the low attachment. I got that. There Switch you go. who? You're ready to go. Alright. Thanks for watching. Till next time this with Gibran. I'm with Steve. Take care guys. Bye.